Hello everyone, I'm Nate Asher and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Master Quest. In the last episode, we made our way to the Deku Cliffs, I want to say, and in this episode, we will be making our way inside. First thing we want to do is break through these boulders here. By the way, I hope the audio is better in this episode. I, uh, I didn't realize until after, and I watched it, um... After recording that the audio was like really loud, uh, hopefully it's better in this one. Sorry about that again. Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> Remember the fairest boy. Hey, look at this stone. There's a song written on it. Last Rampart Song. Oh yeah, I already heard about this one. Some magic blocks react to the song. They disappear or reappear when you play it near them. It's sometimes used to block access to hidden things. You will need to memorize it. Do you think you're able to? Okay, so... Left, right, up, left, right, down. Nice. Now let's get out of this damn cave. Okay. By the way, check out the hat. Hey, listen. So. Might as well get some rupees while we're here. How do you get out of here? <laughs> oh. Okay. Whoa, look at this thing. It reminds me of the Deku Palace from um, Majora's Mask. Oh, there's one of the blocks that's supposed to uh, make disappear. Okay, is left, right, up, left, right, down. Now let me guess, that's got a switch on it. And somehow I have to hit that switch. How do you even get up there? Oh yeah, we're good. High five, man. Come on. Ooh. Ooh. This is cool looking. Man, we really should have got some Deku sticks. Take your six. No, but a fairy. Oh, wait, I already have a bottle. Cool. All right, guys, our first temple. Hope you are ready. Hmm. 
I have a feeling we're going to be getting the uh, bow and arrow in this temple, which I am ready for. So ready for. Okay, I think we're going to need Doki Stick, so unless we get some out of this grass. <sighs> Alright. Well, that's my bad, guys. You fail to prepare, you prepare to fail. So, I will be back with Doki Six. Okay, I'm back, and hey, it turns out I am actually an idiot. Shout out to my Breath of the Wild sweatshirt that my grandma got me. But, there's a freaking village supply room, dude. Only take things if the village is in danger. Well, the village is in danger because it's in danger of time being broken or whatever the hell. So we have rupees. But, that's not all. You guys are going to see how stupid I am here in a second. Dig your nuts, which I needed earlier. Watch this. Okay. Um, well, I watched another playthrough, and that was a shield. And I had already spent 80 rupees on a shield, so we could have got a free shield. And, one of those nuts was, was supposed to be a stick. And for some reason, it won't let me equip a stick. I also already spent 20 rupees on two sticks, and it still did not give me a stick. So we might be screwed. Watch this. It's for kids. It says right there, it's for kids. I cannot use this. I bought two for 20 rupees. Didn't give them to me. Not wasting more. Uh, you're talking about frustrated, ma'am. Give me a second, I gotta zen out for a second. Alright. We're good. Still no idea what to do though. I'm gonna be honest. We can't equip Deggy Sticks as a, as a child. Or as an adult, sorry. So, we are, um... We didn't miss anything, so that's good. I don't know.
If you're going back in, maybe we missed something. Okay. I just gotta kill the Deku Scrubs to get through there. Please? No? Come on, that was so cool. Switch on top of there. Hmm. How do I get up there, though? What a puzzle. Okay. The heck is that? <laughs> I knew that I was getting Goron, um, I mean, uh, Dodongo Cavern vibes. But, the heck does that do for me? Wait. Is that it? I know, uh, somewhere else. But. Oh, okay. I will wait.
Whatever. I'm like looking for these vines everywhere now. Now that I know this guy's a little... What did that do? Boy, they don't show you anything. Ah. Uh. Uh. Like how that freaking the vines just materialize. Key? Cool. We got spiders waiting to ambush us. Oh my. Check this out. Ah, oh, what? Okay, I thought I could be cool. <laughs> And just skip stuff. That's where they should have put it right there. Well, there they go. Another pizza heart. Okay.
Uh-oh. Why do I feel like these sculptures are gonna end up being important? Not what I meant to do. Come on. What the heck? There's no way for me to do it. Do I seriously have to throw it on here and then throw it again? That is ridiculous. See? It's ridiculous. It's impossible. That's not a Zelda puzzle. That's just stupid. Look at that! It's stupid! That's not how Zelda works. Hey, so I hit unpause, but it didn't register, so uh, I'll just walk you through what I did. Um, I did what I was trying to do, where I threw the bomb up here, jumped up there, and then threw the bomb at the boulder before it could um, blow up. As you can see, there's no boulder. You jump across here. You're right here, okay? Go around. Lonnie Dong. We went down here. There's a skull cell right here. We got that. Climb up right here, jump here. Pointed out that there's an eye switch, so we need to use arrows when we get them. You look right here, there's some vines. You jump here, climb up here, look to the right, there's some more vines. Jump, grab onto them. Get up here. Thought there was going to be a mini boss that we'd have to do so that we could get the arrows. Turns out this is the whole thing. We went up here, we got the bow, okay? Got the bow, went back down. Shot the eye switch. Jumped in here. 
we went all the way across here. Over there was a golden sculpture. Over there was a heart piece. We then went back down. To the main room of the dungeon. We went up and instead of climbing on this pedestal, we climbed on this one. There's also vines right there. We walked across here, jumped across, we shot the bomb flower and it blew up all these rocks. Went up here. With our bow that we now have. Got this guy. Jumped across here. Walked. There was another boulder up here. We got that. So now we can just jump across here. Got him. Got him. Jump into here. Now, then we went into here and we shot these, um, these skulls that were going across here. They were zooming across. And we shot those, which opened this gate that was right here. So now, we can move this, which we used to shoot the fire into this, which we're going to have to do again. So now you're caught up. Sorry about that. <laughs> Give me some arrows, come on, don't be like that. Arrows, come on, I got five. I'll take the 20. Okay. Actually, I wonder if we can just do it from here. Probably can.
Dang, I need to do it fast too. Here we go. Woo! Glad that's over with. playing that game dude Arrows. Cool. All right. First dungeon out of the way, guys. Heck yeah. Oh, what a nightmare. You got the Stone of Agility. It proves your agility. Fair enough. Now let's go to Abella Town. Alright, and go to Abella Town we shall in the next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Nate Asher. If you liked the video, then please uh, hit that like button. And if you're new, go ahead and subscribe. You can always unsubscribe later if you don't like the content, okay? I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.